What is going on guys? Just a very short video today. I'm going to show you how to disable your seatbelt chime on your Jeep Grand Cherokee, also known as the Jeep WK2. This is a 2021. Uh, however, it should work for sure for the 2017 to 2021s. And really, I think it'll work for the 2011 WK2s all the way up to 2021. And I know it also works for many Ram trucks, other Dodge vehicles. So if you have any sort of FCA vehicle, go ahead, give this a shot. Now, just a couple real quick things here before we get started. First and foremost, I always recommend you wear your seatbelt. It's up to you. Obviously, there's fines and penalties in certain states. The only reason I disable mine is because I like to start the car, just pull it onto the street, out of the driveway, uh, so I can shovel in the wintertime. And I don't need a seatbelt when I'm going half a mile an hour just to pull it out. And it gets really annoying when I'm doing really low speed things like that, where uh, I might need to be maneuvering around a little bit better and the seatbelt is a little restrictive on me. So that's the reason I'm disabling this. I don't condone not driving with one, but you do you. Just because I know people are going to mention that. Always wear a seatbelt. I know. I always wear mine. Don't worry. The second thing is it will disable the chime for the driver's side and the passenger side. But you will still get the seatbelt light on the dash. There's no way around that. All this does is keep it from chiming. And the third thing is I've already disabled it in mine. So when I do this procedure, it's actually going to turn it back on. So then I will drive real quick, show you that it dings. Then I'll do it again and show you that it doesn't ding. So what we're going to do is you're going to be in the vehicle, door shut, everything's off, driver's seat belt buckled. You're going to hit the push start button twice. You're just going to tap it, but don't put your foot on the brake. You don't want to start the Jeep. You just want to go one, two. You're going to wait for the seat belt light to go off, at which point you will unhook, latch, unhook, latch, unhook, latch, turn it off. And you heard that chime when I turned it off. Now we should be able to go ahead, put our foot on the brake, restart it. Now I'm gonna take my seatbelt off and you heard it chime right there. I'm gonna just drive down the road real quick to show you that it is enabled right now. And there it is. So now that you can see it is functioning, I'm gonna shut the Jeep off. And just to make sure it knows that I left the vehicle, I'm gonna open and close the door. And we're gonna start again with the seatbelt on. Okay, once again, you're gonna not put your foot on the brake. Tap the button to start twice. Wait for the light to go off for the seatbelt. And then within five or 10 seconds of it going out, one, two, three, off. Now you do have to move quickly. After that seatbelt light on the dash goes out, you only have a five or 10 second window, I believe, to do the whole unhook and hook three times uh, before it kind of times out. So now that we've done it again, it should in theory be disabled. So we're gonna go ahead, start up the Jeep, put it in drive, and I'm going to unhook the seatbelt We'll start rolling here. As you see, it still shows that it is not buckled. It's still yelling at me in the dash there. That goes away after a second. You will always have the small light right there in the tachometer. That won't be going anywhere, but as you see, there is no chiming going on. So there you go. All right, and like I said, guys, that will work for the passenger side as well. I. I have had a passenger sitting here with not a seatbelt and it was not dinging. So I know it works for both sides. And like I said, this trick also does work on multiple other uh, Mopar vehicles. So if you have one, go ahead, give it a shot. And that is about going to wrap it up for this video, guys. Drive safely. If this video helped you out, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below with any questions. Check me out on all my socials and check out all my other videos on here. As always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.